Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here. On this video, we want to talk about The Mandalorian Episode 4 or Chapter 4, which is called Sanctuary on the Disney Plus platform. If you guys are brand new, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave some comments, let me know what you think of my videos. I've been reviewing a bunch of these Apple TV Plus and Disney Plus shows here. It's a new thing I'm trying out, test some waters, and I do it because I want your feedback, your comments, your criticisms, your thoughts, as well as uh, sharing my sort of thoughts on some of these shows. So let's get started. Got my show notes over here. First of all, Mandalorian, great show. It's uh, so refreshing as a Star Wars fan to have the Mandalorian and the Star Wars universe and existing and coming out week to week and something to look forward to that uh, feels like it's on point, on brand, authentic, true to the Star Wars thematic elements and uh, sounds sounds and visuals, uh, all that. You know, it's hard for me to really take notes because when I'm watching the show, I'm just enjoying it so much. And there's, and there's really not a whole lot of bad to say about this. Uh, my original criticism was that the episodes felt a little short and now they've gotten a little longer a tiny bit longer, so so that's that's a plus. And uh, so so let's see, what do we got in this episode, episode four? We got the raiders attacking on this uh, village, and of course the Mandalorian arrives this planet, and uh, his his world's gonna clash with theirs. Uh, it's a nice introduction of everything. Uh, the Mandalorian just is seeking some refuge. He's looking for a planet where there's not a lot going on, where he can um, relax with Baby Yoda and uh, figure out his next course of action. That's that's kind of what he's he's looking for. But of course, he's not going to get that at all. The danger lurks everywhere on the outer rim of the, uh, you know, the Star Wars universe. So, you know, there's no sleep. There's no rest. So um, what, some, of, some of the things I wrote down here. So we got to see inside the Mandalorian's helmet. This was a great... Uh, moment here, I, I kind of leaned forward when I was watching. I was like, "Oh wow, it's like it's like the Terminator or Robocop or something where we get the little the little heads up display, sort of a little uh, thermal scanning going on to see the footprints, and you get to sort of see um, the advantages of the Mandalorian armor and how that kind of helps him in a in a fight or um, tracking down a suspect." Or something like that as, as an overall bounty hunter gives him a little bit of an advantage having this uh, technology at his disposal. So that was great. Thumbs up there looking inside the uh, the POV of inside the helmet there. So eventually the Mandalorian teams up with an ex-soldier called Cara Dune played by former MMA fighter Gina Carano on the planet. Um, she's she's a great new character where we haven't really seen much of her. She's uh, physically strong, can handle her weapons, it's got got a little attitude. Feels like a good new character. We'll kind of have to see if this is a one-off or if she stick, comes back or sticks around for some more. But uh, um, the Mandalorian and Cardoon train the village to defend themselves against the ATST and the attacking uh, raiders. And uh, we get to see a lot of action and all-out battle there at night. A lot of blasters, a lot of melee combat, and uh, it was great. Just overall fun episode to watch, entertaining. We got a, a glimpse of another bounty hunter lurking around in the the woods there. He's got his own little fob. He's still tracking old baby Yoda. The danger never rests, but um, Gina Carano's character takes him out, shoots him in the back, and uh, that takes care of that danger. But, um, you know, originally the Mandalorian was thinking, I'll leave baby Yoda here to kick it with the kids, but... When he sees this, he realizes, no, I gotta take him with me. I gotta defend him to the end. And I'm I'm curious about the fobs now. Do they did they ever explain this? Do they are they somehow DNA related? Is there a tracker inside of Baby Yoda somehow? Like, is it can that be you know taken out, surgically removed, or is it just like a, a DNA thing or something? Is there a way? Will the Mandalorian go to like uh, the next episode, maybe a planet where he can? jam the frequency of these fobs so that uh, he can hide baby Yoda without people showing up so easily with the uh, fobs in place. I guess that's the next big question that uh, I'm going to be asking myself or asking the show, you know, and I hope that, hope that now that that's a question I'm posing, I hope that maybe that's where they take us to sort of figure this out. Because it seems like those fobs and those trackers are going to be, be a problem till the end of time until we can handle that, until we can figure that out. So... Another thing I wrote down in my notes is uh, how this episode totally reminded me of the movie Shane, the classic Western movie Shane, where Shane comes into to the village, the town, and he helps the uh, he helps all the villagers from the evil, the bad gunslingers, and then kind of rides off uh, on his own. A lot of us, and me included, have 
equated the show to sort of a, a western or a samurai theme where the it's like a fish out of water they show up to the town they save the village and then they kind of move on there's no rest and anything like that and you, you really get to see that i mean there's even some hints that uh maybe he could find love in this village but his work is not done he can't take off the helmet he can't relax he's got a He's got to get to the end. He's got to get his armor perfect. He's got to get Baby Yoda in um, an okay situation. And uh, we're along for the ride. It was cool we got to see um, Bryce Dallas Howard directing this episode. I'm not quite sure how many shows or things that she's directed, but did a fine job overall. A lot of the action sequences were, were edge your seat. And, of course, the music was great and, uh, and everything. Uh, something, though, I will say that, that's kind of funny. The Mandalorian has used his little flamethrower thing on his arm. A bunch of times so far and it seems like he needs practice with it because uh he seems to he seems to be not that effective i mean he did take out some stormtroopers um in one of the other episodes with it but it seems like the flamethrower needs to get uh he needs to work on the flamethrower so i'm just gonna throw that out there we need some some flamethrower upgrades when he uh when he upgrades the suit the next time so we'll see, we'll see how that goes so anyway thanks so much for watching let me know what your comments are your concerns or criticisms of the mandalorian episode four chapter four sanctuary thanks so much for watching if you're brand new please subscribe leave lots of comments that's it for this video for coin op tv we'll see you guys next time